Last year, it might have been when the Dolphins took Tua at five or when the Cowboys, as we just talked about, went up and got C.D. Lamb at 17 or and went and grabbed him uh, as their star wide receiver. That was a move people did not see happening. So we will start with this. The point in the first round where you think the draft gets a little weird is what? I think seven is, to me, the, the real weird moment. And seven because the Detroit Lions are on the clock. The Lions have the seventh pick. They can take a player. It could be clean. It could be, okay, let's go. Or the Lions who only have six picks this year and are in a complete rebuild mm -hmm. with a new coach and a new GM, they could trade back. And I think seven's interesting because there might be one or two of those quarterbacks still on the board. I think number seven, Detroit, which is around, let's say, 8.45 p.m. Okay. Eastern. A little crazy. Thursday night, that's when things get a little bit crazy, a little bit weird, and we start seeing the flurry of trades. I'm okay. going to say seven uh -huh. to Detroit. Yeah. All Too right. late? What do you think? Kind of a wait, Peter. A little bit of a wait. <laughs> I don't want to wait that long. <laughs> um, I got something that I, I'm not sure if it's a possibility. Um, you know what? It is a possibility. I'm going to say the Broncos make a deal okay. with the Falcons and trade up to number four. The, bon the Broncos have picks. They can give them a second round, some later draft picks, even maybe a second round from next year, and they go get um, – they go get a QB. Which they go one? get a QB. They go get Justin Fields okay. and make it real interesting in that quarterback room. I know we're looking at the Falcons saying, Kyle Pitts, Kyle Pitts, Kyle Pitts. But listen, maybe they're looking at Kyle Pitts saying, Kyle Pitts is Julio Jones. And we already have Julio Jones. Mm -hmm. So let's just will and deal and set ourselves up for the future because over the next couple of years, they're going to be in the quarterback business. Okay. So Broncos trading up to number four and getting Justin Fields. Nay, that's nice. my kind of answer. Like, you feel we've heard Spice this it craziest up. draft. That we can't wait till seven. Seven. Yeah. Uh, round 21 when the Colts are on the clock, it'll get interesting. Because <laughs> yeah, I, look, I got, this, I got the same deal. <laughs> so here's the – you're going to get th three picks – Three quarterbacks. That's a nice little intro band. Start the bleeping show. Because, <laughs> look, not only do you have somebody maybe crazy trading up for a quarterback, who says someone's not going to move up for Kyle Pitts? Who says Cincinnati doesn't want to jump one spot for Kyle Pitts? Or to Kay's point last segment, this is Jared time right here. If you want that guy, if your yeah, life depends on Kyle go. Pitts, you have to get him at four. Now, that is wildly expensive, but this is the kind of thing where everybody starts tweeting, this draft is drunk, go home. Yeah, yeah. Not seven, Peter, the Lions. Question Give me something. To all you guys, would Why? you guys think it's weird or crazy if at four the Falcons said, we're going quarterback, we're not mm. taking Pitts. Is that what weird enough, or is that... <laughs> he goes, no, 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 you can't, you can't. I like that. <laughs> Pitts? No, that'd be good because Pitts. that's probably Lance then at four, or Fields. I like four straight quarterbacks. Four offensive. straight quarterbacks. But I want a little action. Okay, you want trades. You want trades. Come on, no. If, oh, We've been promised so much about this draft. I know. My, it's heart, crazy my, heart, my heart hurts <laughs> thinking about Pitts falling to then to then. I can't. 